Hey everybody, it's Crystal with Reefs of Circle Creek. I hope you had a great weekend. Um, starting this week off by making a, a reef with the gnome ladybug sign. It says let it be. It's real cute. It's got the red and the blue in it. Um, so today, this is the reef I'll be making with this sign. And I'm going to use these two meshes. These are the horizontal wide stripe mesh. Uh, this is like a smoky blue with a, I think it's a gray color. I have to check on that. And then of course the natural. So I'm going to uh, alternate these and use this one to go with this one. Let me see if I can hold it again <laughs> to go with this sign. So we'll do that together. And then with the ribbons I'm choosing, um, of course I'm going to do the the red and the black polka dot, the big dots. I think that match that that red and black polka dot there. And I'm going to do um, this is like a denim, the denim with the gingham edge. There, I think that'd be cute. Kind of matches his jeans and that blue in there. And then, of course, you have to have the ladybugs. And I like the bright yellow ladybugs. I'm going to use that in there. So I think that'd be pretty cute. So. If you'd like to come make a reef with me, please do so. I'll be back. I'm going to get everything cut up and ready to make my reef. Okay guys, so we're back. I got everything cut. Um, I took the mesh and I cut them. Let's see, we have um, 16 ties. This is on a, I'm using a 13 inch work reef frame. Um, we have 7 ties at the top and 9 ties at the bottom. So I'm going to cut 16 each of the mesh and I cut them at, at um, 20 inches and 16 cuts for each of them. So this uh, blue, and I believe they're calling this beige, it's like a beigey gray color. Um, it's pretty cool looking. Um, but I cut this at 20, and I cut these at 20, and I cut them 16 each for each each mesh. Um, and what we're gonna do is pretty much the same method that I did in my last two videos. I think we're gonna actually start with the natural. And so with the natural, we're just going to do a little bit of a ruffle. So I'm just going to take it, I'm going to curl the end a little bit, and then I'm just going to walk my fingers up and scratch it until I get to the end, and then I'm just going to curl it up a little, curl it under a little bit. And then I got my center here, and I'm going to put it on my tie. put it how you want it and then what we're going to do with this is put the blue on top of this one so I'm trying to think I think let's try to these are probably not the best with the curl but let's just see let's see how it works so I am going to curl up with the curl side up so one two three and then I'm going to walk my fingers up to it like this. And I'm going to take this in, try to spread it out, and I'm going to try to curl this. One, two, three. And I'm going to hold that like that. And then I'm going to put this on top. And I think for this, I'm just going to leave, I'm going to leave the tie. Well, no, I'm going to open it. I just like to. <laughs> and we're going to push it in there. Hold it down to your middle finger there and then get it tied in. And then we have, it did kind of curl a little bit there, not too bad, huh? Um, and then we have our natural, and then our, our smoke blue with the light beige showing through. So I'll do this one to the next end, take our natural, lay it out, curl the edge under, and then walk my fingers up. Like this. And then curl that other end under and hold the middle. Shape it like you need to. And then we're gonna put it on our other tie. So I'll put it in this tie. Close it to hold it in place for me. 
shape it the way I like to have it. And then we're going to put our blue on that. Our smoke blue is what it's called. It's pretty. It's a pretty um, good one for spring and summer. Okay, oh, we're doing the other way. <laughs> See, you got to watch me. <laughs> so, one, two, three, curled it, and then we're going to walk it up. And then I'm going to curl this. One, two, three, and I'm going to hold it like that. And fan it out if you want. And come back to my next form. And put it in there, kind of snug it down there pretty tight, kind of press down the middle, and then just twist it. All right. I'm going to complete the bottom, and then we're going to do the top. We'll do a couple for the top, okay? I will be back. Okay, I got the bottom finished with the mesh, and now I'm just going to do the top. And I'm going to do the same thing I did at the bottom and on the and do it on the top. So let me sh show a couple. We can go ahead and make sure your ties are open. Probably help you. So let's do where's my mesh? <laughs> this one. Okay, so we're going to lay it like this. We're going to roll the ends underneath. And then you're just going to ruffle it or scrunch it. <laughs> and then just curl that other end like this. And you can grab it with your middle finger and pull it to the center. And you can kind of shake these out. And then we're going to put this and one of the ties. Just going to hold it in with your finger and then. You're going to close that tie, and then we're going to do our blue. In the blue, we're going to curl up the ends like this. Say so one, two, three, and then I'm just going to walk my fingers up to the end, and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to curl it. One, two, three and then hold it like that. Kind of shape this if you need to. Open this back up and put this on the top. All right guys, I'm gonna finish the top. I got my pickup here, so I'm gonna stop this right now. Okay guys, I'm back. I'm gonna show you one more on the top. I'm sorry about that. I had a uh, UPS pickup, so I need to go help them. <laughs> I think it's a little noisy with the dogs. I'm let you know they're here. <laughs> so, but I know I showed this one, but let's, I'm going to show one more. Uh, doing doing one on the top. So just open your tie. And let's see. Any more mesh. So we take our natural here. And I'll just curl it. And then I'll walk it up. Let's crunch it. Okay. Then when I get to the very end here, I just kind of try to curl it, keep walking it, and then grab it, like that. All right. And then, we're going to put it in the center of our tie, and push down. It's a lot of mesh in there. <laughs> and that's going to hold it until we get our blue on there. And you kind of can move your mesh around the way you need to. All right, let's see the blue. I really like this blue. It's pretty. Let's see, we're curling up. So one, two, three, and then the same thing with the crunching or scrunching, ruffling in the middle. And then one, two, three. All right, we got that. And on top. Okay, I'm going to finish doing the top and we're going to come back, okay? And then we'll be ready for our ribbons. Okay guys, so now we're going to add these ribbons to our wreath here. So I have three different ribbons. I have a two and a half and then two one and a half. And we got the, um, the denim 
with the gingham edge and we have the red with the black polka dots it's really cute for a ladybug and then of course this one's super cute with the with the yellow and the little ladybugs with the daisies so we're going to add them to our wreath i'm going to take this put them here and then i'm just going to start with my two and a half and let's start with the yellow and then i just kind of fold it to find my middle and then you can you know if you want to switch it out a little bit or swing it out a little bit so it can be curled like that and then I'm going to just start on a tie so I'm going to put this in the reef in the middle try not to twist my ribbon and then twist that tie and then you can spread these out some Let's see if I can turn that where you can kind of see it spread that out can't wait to see what this all looks like. It'll be a little interesting with all the colors. <laughs> and then we're going to go to this next tie right here. And I'm going to take my red and then I'm going to take my denim. Oh, let me do that again. Let's see. There we go. Fold it and then find the middle. And then kind of spread those out or fan them out. And then I'm going to open this tie. Or you don't actually have to open the tie, but sometimes just naturally I do <laughs> without thinking. But and then you're just going to spread out your ribbons here. And it's starting to come together. And then go to the next tie. And I'm not going to untie it. I don't know why I did that one, but that's okay. <laughs> so the next tie, get your red and polka dots, and then your little ladybugs. And just fold them. And then and push it in that tie right there. And then you're just going to close that. Spread out your ribbon. Oh, let's do this way. There we go. And do your next one. So we got, we're going to do the ditto and red polka dot. Red polka dot. And denim. In the middle, and then put it in the center of your tie. And close it. And I'll probably cut these ties down when I'm done. And just kind of fan these out a little bit. And so you can kind of see you got your your colors going and I'm just going to keep doing that on the bottom and I'm going to do it the same thing on the top and then we'll come back okay so we have our ribbon on our wreath um, I really like that uh, yellow ladybug I think it's cute uh, kind of think I would have put it all over <laughs> but that's okay I think it's it's going to be cute the way it is so um, now I'm ready to put on the sign, and I already have my sign prepared um, with the wires. Um, so you need to see a video how I do it. At, um, in previous videos that I've shown how I put the wires on, but now I'm just going to put this sign on and run my wire through. So don't worry. Try not to go through the mesh, but sometimes depending, you have to. <laughs> Alright, so I just get it positioned in there. I'll move my ribbons around here, around the sign. And then I'm just going to, let's see, wrap it around here. I really do like these uh, knitting needles, they really do help. 
um, trying to get a grip on every the wire and getting it tied on in the back. Okay, we'll hold that. And I'm just going to tie this in. Right here. And I have noticed not to make my wire too tight until I get it placed in. Because then sometimes I have to switch it up again. <laughs> Let's see. Get that in there. Let's see. All right. That in there. Come straight. Come in the ribbon. Pull it there. Yeah. All right. Let me get it. See if I can get it in this last upside down weave here. <laughs> what reefs are y'all working on? On February 20th is the date I have here with this video. Are y'all, have y'all done St. Patty's? Are we done with St. Patty's? Done Easter? Gosh, I can't believe Easter's right around the corner. <laughs> Time just flies. I got that in. And then I'm just going to put my, kind of just, redo my ribbons here. Spread them out. Yeah. All right. Put it on our side. Sorry, y'all. I'm taking a little bit with the sign. So I can get that. I have to pull it too down. Sometimes I make them too tight. <laughs> Okay, so let me get this one down. Kind of push that in. Fill it back here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had wanted to make a bunch of Valentine's wreath and then I kind of <laughs> Valentine came and went, so it's funny. It's like, oh well, <laughs> maybe I make them for next year. <laughs> Okay, make sure that's in there. Tie these on. Fix that. Kind of work your ribbons back around the spine. Jump back out. Yeah, there we go. And then, make sure these side ribbons are in here. So it makes sure that we are I oh, can't raise the camera up to really see. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. It is in. I am going to stop this and raise the camera so you can see. I'm probably going to fill out these ribbons a little bit more. And then when we come back I'll show you our finished wreath. I'll be back. All right, here is our Let It Be Ladybug Wreath. Turned out pretty cute. So let's see if you can see that. I know that lighting's kind of bad. Let's see if I can get them straight. But pretty cute. I like, I like that little gnome. And of course, the ladybugs are cute. Thank you for watching. And if you're making a wreath with me, let me know. Leave me a comment. Talk to you later. Bye.